Imagine that after death we are experiencing the relationship we had formed with another person in life. Through the fixed gaze of our perception, through the experience of the relation, forces are formed in our soul, at first in their spiritual prototypes. These are needed so that our karma might lead us rightly into the future, so that we may find ourselves together with the other person in a next incarnation, in such a way that the karmic adjustment may come about. The forces necessary for this karmic adjustment are welded together technically, as it were. If we do not stand within the spiritual life, however, the result is only a lack of knowledge. It also means that we dwell within a limited sphere of existence encompassed only by the physical world. A materialistically minded person at once loses the connection with one who has passed through the gate of death. This shows how very important it is for the one world to work into the other. If, for instance, the dead person who has an intense longing to learn something of spiritual wisdom must forego this wish and will remain a bird. At most it might be possible, although even in Kama Loka this is hardly likely, that he would encounter another soul who has died with whom he has had such a connection on earth that by the mere nature of the relationship he would find some limited satisfaction. In fact, it hardly comes into the picture as compared with the considerable service and the acts of charity that the living can perform. with what may be learned through spiritual science. 
Relationships of quite a different kind can be formed in life. Relationships that work over from the one world into the other.